Geology Laboratory at Adi Zabeba Science and Technology University is a well-equipped facility supporting research and practical learning in geology. It focuses on paleoanthropology, sedimentary petrology, crystallography, mineralogy, and geological mapping. The lab provides advanced tools for rock and mineral analysis, fossil studies, and geological surveys, benefiting students, researchers, and industry professionals in natural resource exploration and environmental studies. My name is Dr. Salomon. I'm a practical, uh, two practical courses uh, lecturer for paleontology and uh, sedimentary uh, petrology. For paleontology practical uh, class, uh, we teach our students uh, macro and uh, micro uh, fossils. We have uh, standard samples to teach our students uh, macro uh, fossils. And for micro fossils, we use a petrographic microscope that you can see uh, here. And this course is for undergraduate second year students. And we teach, it's not only for uh, us two students, but also for uh, other students who come from uh, the uh, different uh, university in uh, Ethiopia. For, uh, as I said earlier, for macro uh, fossils, we have a lot of standard uh, samples, standard uh, samples that uh, we use. And also we have local collections, local collections from, from Ethiopia and as well collections from the rest part of uh, the world. As you can see them here, these are the different uh, uh, samples we collected from uh, Ethiopia, from sedimentary basins of uh, Ethiopia, and also from, uh, from uh, different uh, countries outside uh, Ethiopia. Uh, for uh, for micro-paleontology, uh, we have these uh, microscopes, we have microscopes, and we have prepared thin sections, thin section from sedimentary rocks uh, in Ethiopia. So our students will, uh, will have a knowledge both in macro and uh, micro uh, paleontology, or in other words, they will learn about macro and micro fossils practically that they have learned in the theory uh, part. That's all. Thank you. I'm Pedro Hussein from the Department of Geology. My uh, subject matter is mainly teaching structural geology geological mapping and report writing, and also metamorphic petrology. And uh, here in the petrology lab, uh, we have a collection of rock samples that are originated mostly from the country. Here, this uh, collection of sedimentary rocks, starting from sedimentary rocks. Here we have uh, their collection of variety of rocks, uh, sandstone, limestone, gypsum, uh, and also some coal, uh, mainly from the Abai Basin. The coal deposits are located uh, within uh, volcanic rock sequences of uh, different parts of the country. And here we have a collection of Cenozoic volcanic rocks that are from the plateau areas in the highlands of uh, Ethiopia, from different uh, sectors in the region. Yeah. And here we have another collection of uh, metamorphic rocks. They are oldest rocks in the country. They are occurring in the north, southern, western, and eastern part of the country. And this collection comes from uh, some from northern Ethiopia, Ukro area, and some came from southeastern Ethiopia and southern uh, Ethiopia in the Moyale area. And, also, we have uh, different collections of uh, standards for this to teach uh, students. This are collection of standard samples for igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks. Uh, welcome to the Department of Geology Laboratory. Uh, my name is Isabella Chomogues. I am a lecturer and researcher at the Disaba Science Technology University uh, within the Department of Geology. So uh, today I will try to uh, express uh, the laboratory, uh, specifically this uh, laboratory is uh, for practical crystallography and mineral optics. So within uh, practical crystallography, we are providing course for undergraduate students and also for master's programs. So the basic, the principle uh, before the beginning of all the other geology courses, crystallography. 
So this crystallography, each and every student is able to know how the crystal matters are formed, how the different crystals are bonded together to form such well-expressed shapes or having definite crystal components. Yes, we have more than 4,000 minerals in the Earth. All those 4,000 minerals are grouped, categorized under the six crystal system. Now look out here, the students are producing those crystal models by themselves from the uh, hard papers. They just cut and produce these three-dimensional crystal systems. So those are the basic crystal systems. How those crystals are just formed or how the internal arrangements of the atoms are built up. Because the internal arrangement of the atom will just directly the indication of the external features. So first, the students prepare these samples and they are going to relate with those wooden crystal models. Because all the minerals, as I mentioned before, are grouping under those uh, basic crystal models. So those are also another tools which is very important for the student to express or to explain the crystal models. This one is, for example, a stereographic projection, which is used to project the three-dimensional crystal model. This so mineralogy means dealing about the minerals. So we geologists are dealing with minerals in different aspects. Just to study certain minerals, we use physical identification kit, opticals, and chemical analysis techniques. The most important tool that is used to, mineral, to identify minerals hardness. We have a mineral starting from the softest talc to the hardest diamond. So all the minerals in there are just having the range of hardness within those minerals. There are also another tools which is very important for the student to differentiate one mineral from another mineral. For example, this one is lasters. Different minerals have their own lasters, whether it's metallic lasters or non-metallic lasters. So this one is also one technique that is used to differentiate one mineral from another minerals. Mineralogy. After the student is able to differentiate one mineral from another mineral based on their physical property, they are directly going to the next part, optical properties of a mineral. So here in our lab, we have advanced microscope. We have two different types of microscope. This one is transmitted light microscope. So the light source is from the bottom, whereas this one is reflected light microscope. The source of light is from the top. So this microscope is applicable for rock forming minerals to differentiate one rock forming mineral from another rock forming minerals. If the student is able to differentiate one mineral from another mineral in the physical property, that's good. If there is a certain confusion or to confirm the property of the minerals, we are going to use this microscope. So this one is used for rock forming minerals. But this one is very advanced microscope, just used to differentiate ore forming minerals like gold, copper and others. So many uh, just metallic and also non-metal ore forming minerals. The previous microscope was teaching a microscope in just smaller in size, but this one huge. You can look out how it's just large, mm -hmm. and also it is connected with that uh, computer. Teaching uh, also field geological mapping in different terrains, and the students uh, are using different equipment for the field work. Uh, this is uh, GPS for navigation purposes just to identify the location of the area where they are working and this uh, handheld compass that is used to measure structural uh, geometries and uh, strike and leap measurements. Here we have uh, magnets just to see if uh, the rock has contains magnetic materials. We are also using hand lens to identification of uh, rock types, minerals, by looking at the rocks, the field. Another uh, thing is this is the uh, altimeter. We use also to identify the heat above sea level of uh, the area they are working. And here we have a pocket microscope that is used to visualize the landscape uh, using aerial photographs and so After just finishing the field work and so on, uh, finally uh, we produce uh, some reports like this one, that is uh, from different area researches. Mm -hmm. It shows a collection of uh, presentations for then by students and teachers. Uh, yeah, for remote sensing and GIS laboratory, 
It contains computers with uh, software that is relevant for mapping. Uh, commonly, we use satellite images to produce geological maps. And students, before going to the field, they will acquire digital data about the land surface elevation, that is called DN, and also satellite image, that is the imagery of the land surface that constitutes a spectral uh, variation of a certain area. This one is another geology laboratory. Uh, basically, this laboratory is a structural geology and mapping laboratory. So we have a course of map and mapping techniques and structural geology. Students are able to visualize the features from the map. Such types of features are the direct indication of how such types of rocks formed in that area. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, those laboratory resources are limited in our country. So our lab have uh, those possibilities or those apparatus, especially the optical microscope and also those the collection of minerals. So students are just coming here from different uh, university for the practical course. And also especially those advanced research microscopes are available. So those research microscopes are also open for researchers from the different university and also from the different institution. We are also working co in collaboration with other university staffs and also industry partners by utilizing those research microscopes.